Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to create this uh, ammo counter as you can see in the right down corner. This ammo counter inside Unreal Engine. So, let's get started. Alright, let's create this ammo counter. So, inside Unreal Engine, I'm going to. Let me eject this one. I'm going to open my weapon blueprint. Inside my weapon blueprint, we have uh, two fire weapon. One for our ADS, one for our in the normal handling weapon. So, in the variables, I'm gonna create a new variable. Call it uh, ammo. Convert this boolean to an integer. And I'm gonna create another one, call this one clip size this is the size of our mag or weapon mag so uh, and let me call this one our max ammo this is going to make sense and it max ammo this uh, will be the our entire ammo for example, I've got 240 and 30 ammo for my weapon and our ammo will be 30. And there we go. So, how we can uh, implement some ammo counter inside on the energy? Uh, first, in our fire our weapon, I'm gonna open it up and make some space now I'm gonna get uh, this ammo I'm gonna dump um, integer our mean will be 0 and our max will be 30 because we don't want to this value go under the 0 mean minus one minus two we don't want that just want to stay between zero and thirty and for the return value i'm gonna minus this one minus integer one and after that i'm gonna set our ammo to this one so what this code will do first check uh, we'll see our ammo will stay between 0 and 30 and after that we are going to every time we shoot uh, took one uh, took one ammo out of our ammo so in total we have 30 ammo and after we shoot this uh, 30 will be 29 and if we shoot again this ammo will be 28 and yeah so let's implement this one for our ADS the only thing I have to do is to copy this one. Copy this one. Control C and in the ADS I'm going to paste it right here. And there we go. It's compiled. Like this one. So uh, how we can see this uh uh, ammo is a uh, pretty simple and after I'm gonna to create a new widget user interface widget I'm gonna call this one uh, BP ammo bar. and open it up I'm gonna add uh, two text add just two decks both of them will be zero one for ammo and other one for the and the other one for our max I'm gonna put it right here this one I'm gonna call this one 
Yeah, man. Yeah, it is a variable ammo, and this one will be our max. So we need to create a binding to show up our ammo. So how we can create this binding? It's uh, pretty simple. Just click on the ammo. In the content, we see the text. Now we see bind. Let's click on the bind and create a binding. Here, I'm gonna cast to third person character. This is my own character. If you change your character, this cast will be your own character. For example, if you call your character a player, you have to cast to a player. And for object, we will get a player controller. I mean, nah. get player, get player character, and here I'm gonna get uh, a weapon reference. I'm going to say check, uh, convert this one to a validate, and for uh, as a weapon reference, I'm gonna get demo. And connect this one to this return value and hook this up to the its value. So yeah. And now we have our demo. Uh, the other code is uh, much more similar to this one. We only have to change this code. So I'm gonna copy a whole code and control C. Yeah. In the designer, I'm gonna change click on the max ammo and create another binding for this one simple just paste the other code but in here we don't want to get our ammo we just want to get max ammo hook this up and like this one so what we are going to do uh, just another thing anchor these two to a uh, uh, this uh, right corner because we don't want to change these two value change their position I'm gonna uh, we are going to tell them you have to stay right here no matter what we, what we done in the future you two have to stay right here and don't move and yeah hit compile let me open my character after we pick up our weapon, after we pick up our weapon, I'm gonna disconnect this one. I'm gonna say uh, create a create a widget. Our widget will be BP ammo AR. For the only player will be self, I guess. For the return value, I'm gonna add the to viewport. And one more thing, I'm gonna promote this one to a variable because I'm gonna change this uh, stuff in the future. I'm gonna F2 and change it AR. And connect this one to the viewport. Now we have our uh, demo setup our widget setup and connect this one to the break hit compile but uh we have a weapon drop in the weapon drop we have to remove this one remove the widget from the screen and um, it's uh, pretty simple it's just uh, drag this uh, ar ammo and just search for remove from part and there uh, it's compiled now we should uh ready to go so let me equip my weapon as you can see in the right corner we have our ammo if i shoot now we hook off one ammo from our mag so i'm gonna just start shooting and as you can see we just uh now uh we have a problem now we go under the zero so we can fix this one 
Oh, that's one blueprint. Gonna get a branch. Get my ammo. Is a gradient. Uh, if uh, greater or equal to a zero, if this true, we are going to say do nothing. But if it's uh, false, we are going to shoot again. So let me check and see if it's work or not. I'm gonna keep my weapon and start shooting. I don't check to see. It's going minus. But uh, I think we will fix this one in the next video. And I hope you guys uh, find this video helpful. If you did, uh, just let me show you. If we drop this weapon, now we are not able to see the ammo. And if we